And so a couple of a couple more questions uh, about Blue Sky, and then I suppose maybe we should think about calling it a, a, a show pretty soon here. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I asked you um, uh, about the names in the book. I love that name, Glory Be, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I had read that you'd gone through a few different names and that names tend to cause you some trouble um, and that you're, you're you're frequently changing them throughout your draft. So what is your process for picking a character name and when do you know that you've got a good one? Mm. Um, yes, that's tricky <laughs> for me. Um, sometimes it's instantaneous. Like I know from the first draft what the character's name is. And all I can say is it it just feels right, it comes to me, that's it. And then there are other times like um, in Glory B's case where the name changed um, like with every kind of final draft. Um, So when I'm struggling with a name, um, I again go to the pen and paper and just, you know, make lists of names Um, sometimes I'll look up, um, years and popular names. Um, sometimes I'll think about, um, people that, um, have been in my past or, or in my current life of names. Well, would, would they work? Are they like this character? Um, I mean, I'm kind of all over the map with that. Um, but I have to say in terms of making a final decision, um, it's totally intuitive. <laughs> it just has to feel right to me, which when, is probably not you know, helpful is there at all. Something that, that like goes off like spidey sense in your head. Yeah, when, uh, yeah, it's just like I know. <laughs> that, that's the name. That's the person. That's I'm the thinking. name. That's it. <laughs> And then uh, I wanted to ask you, what was it about you? Because you said that uh, of all the books you, you could write, if there was one that you had to bring into the world, Blue Skies is the one. Uh, without getting into to spoiler territory, what is it specifically about this book that made this the book you had to tell the world? Okay. Um, I have a really strong connection to um, World War II. And that's because of my father. Um, when he was a young man um, in Honolulu on December 7th, 1941, um, some planes flew over his house um, and he saw the destruction of um, Pearl Harbor firsthand. The next day he joined the Army Air Force and um, flew missions on, flew a mission and others on um, D-Day. So while he didn't talk much about the war, um, his experience in the war growing up, um, because I grew up in Hawaii, we had lots of visitors come and family, and we'd always drive them um, around the island, and he was a great like tour guide. So I heard um, story after story about what happened on December 7th. We would go to the Arizona Memorial Um, museum in Pearl Harbor, where um, many soldiers still lie under the water. Um, And I was just moved by um, the stories, you know, every single time. Um, And like Glory B, um, I'm a daddy's girl. So this story... um, I I feel particularly connected to. Um, He died um, like 15 years or so ago. And, you know, I miss him every day. What I didn't realize until I was on the last drafts was that this is really a love letter to him. It's... uh well received and uh, out into the world to tell both uh, part of his story and your story forever it, it yes. exists you've, you've done it that must be tremendously gratifying to have reached this stage after so what, 20 years uh, mm-hmm. of trying to get this story out into the world uh, so a natural follow-up i have to that and i, I asked this as someone uh who is approaching the publication of 
probably not the last ever Banneker Bones story, but definitely the last for a good long while. And I'm, I'm, I'm constantly asking myself, okay, well, I have stories in various stages of completion, but mm-hmm. that was the story I had to share with the world. Mm-hmm. So what's going to keep me going now that I've told that story? And what's going to keep you going? What 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 comes next uh, after? And of course, I'm I'm talking to you as you're uh, launching uh, yep. publicity <laughs> and all the things that you you have to do yet with Blue Skies. Um, but what uh, what what what's next for you? What's uh, what? Yeah. Um. Well, I have an idea. <laughs> I have I have some words down. Um, and what I can say is that um, it's prompted by a real um event um that happened in texas <laughs> that's all i can say <laughs> <laughs> Fair you better not say any more so there's so many texas authors though yeah. <laughs> kathy appel's probably listening she, <laughs> she might be looking for a great idea let's uh, <laughs> no kathy would never do that of course no um yeah. here's a kind of a lazy question uh that uh i i, I try to structure the show as if i were going to be on a show uh, and I'm available. Get in touch, uh, fellow podcasters. I'm, I'd, I'd be happy to come on the show. Um, but um, if I were going to be on a show, what would I want someone to ask me about my book? And I would like to have just a, a blank question that I can fill in however I like. And that question is, if there, what's a question you wish someone had asked you about this book? And how would you like to answer it? Um. I think I was hoping you were going to ask me that last question. I think that was it. Um, about my connection, my personal connection to the story, um, because I wanted to say something that would honor my father. Oh, excellent. We've done it. So thank you. Yes. (laughs) Well, then my next question is, Anne Bassard, have you ever seen a flying saucer? Uh, And do you believe in them? I have never seen one, and I so want to believe in them. (laughs) I'm going to send you links to uh, Richard Dolan's history of uh, was the National Security State and the history of flying sauce or UFOs. I can't remember the title. Look up <laughs> Richard Dolan. We'll send you down a whole new rabbit hole with all the uh, facts and information you could ever want to research. I'll, I'll uh, talk to you uh, next time you, you've got a new book out and we'll, we'll, we'll go for rounds after rounds of <laughs> flying saucers. <laughs>